here I have an Apple TV first generation and this is the only Apple TV on the market today with a built-in hard drive and you have also the HDMI output the video, audio, optical audio, Ethernet, USB, power and this is actually a Apple TV that you could turn into a full computer and there are many hacks you can do to enable more functions and if you need to open it to upgrade the hard drive or to repair the power supply for example if you blow a fuse or if you need to change a capacitor in the switching mode power supply it's not difficult and I will show you how first you have to flip it open and flip it over and here I already removed this rubber pad from its adhesive tape underneath. Unfortunately I tore part of the rubber pad because I wasn't careful so be careful when you're removing this and once you remove this you would see the metal bottom exposed with a double side adhesive and you will see these screws you only need to remove the four screws from the corner for example this one this one this one and this one these four you don't need to touch them because these are used to hold the hard drive only if you are going to upgrade the hard drive or replace the hard drive then you will need to replace uh, to remove these four screws so to get the case open you just need to remove the four corner screws Loose. I already loosened them for the purpose of this video. And now, by removing them, you will have the metal case exposed. And you can just easily lift the metal plate up and remove it. And once you remove it, you will see that on the other side of the metal plate, you have a hard drive and this one came with the unit let's take a closer look it is a Samsung 160 gigabyte 5400 RPM PATA I was surprised to see that it's PATA instead of SATA and you can see this from the 40 pin interface and to remove the hard drive cable just lift the connector gently and there you go so in order to upgrade the hard drive make sure you have a PATA 2.5 inch portable hard drive so that's already better than the 40 gigabyte hard drive that comes with the standard version of this model and here you have the CPU and the CPU fan the various connectors and this is a Broadcom wireless network adapter and I believe the RAM is built in to the motherboard because I don't see any RAM slots here I think this is SD RAM if I remember correctly it should be DDR and this is a Realtek Ethernet controller since this unit does have Ethernet port and this is a lithium backup battery it's a CR2032 3 volt to keep the clock and other, other information and here you have a very compact switch mode power supply outputting 5 volt to the main board and here's the cable so the installation is mostly done with this plastic cover and if you need to service it just unwrap it whether you need to change a capacitor or a fuse and just unplug it from here and unscrew three screws one here, one here, and one here. And that's how you need to remove this switch mode power supply. So here it is, the inside of Apple TV first generation.